So if you've worked with Photoshop for a while, you'll be aware of color modes um, and you'll be aware that you do most of your work in here in RGB. Um, even if you're going out to print at the end, uh, you will you will do the work in RGB and then do a conversion over to CMYK when you're preparing for print at the end. Um, and when you're working in RGB, you're working with red, green, and blue as a color mode. Um, so that means that all the colors in your image are made up from red, green, and blue. So it doesn't matter whether you're looking at something like this where you've got literally three layers there, a blue layer, a green layer, and a red layer, or whether you're working over here on a, a full color image, it's still made up from red, green, and blue. Now, where you see these, um, whether it's on here or on the image, are in the color channels. And if you click on channels here, which is this panel here, if you don't see it, it's just in the window menu here. And you can see in there the red, green, and blue channels. So similarly, if I was to go over to this image in channels again, I see the red, green, and blue channels there. I also see the combined RGB channels. So the combined channel shows you all of the three combined. And in here, you can see these. You can see how much light is going through each color channel. So if I want to look at the red color channel, and we can see the red squares, this top left one here, I can hide the green and the blue ones, and I can see the amount of light going through each of the channels. Now, this area is solid red, which is why it's white, because you're getting 100% of the light going through the red channel. These other areas for the green and blue areas are actually black because there's no red light going through there at all. And if there were obviously colors with a bit of red light going through, you'd see the shades of gray in there. So for example, if I jump over to this previous image and have a look in the color channels here, when I turn off those, you can see the amount of blue light or the amount of green light, for example. So these have a lot of green light going through there. Whereas this one and the grapes up here, they've got very little green light going through there. Switch over to the reds and you can see which ones have a lot of red going through. There's a lot of red in this and a lot of red over in these. And if I turn them all on, I can see which we're looking at. So that's got a lot of red. Interestingly, that one has as well. And down here, it'll be a lot of red. So if I turn that off, you'll see that's quite bright. Whereas up here, not much red again. So you're getting different different shades in there um, of those of those channels. Now, when we're working back over here, what can be quite nice sometimes, it can be a little bit confused when you're looking in here and you're seeing in there the, the different kind of black and white. It's sometimes hard to know what you're looking at. And what can be quite nice sometimes, a little trick in the preferences, if you go to the edit menu or on the Mac, it's under Photoshop and click on preferences there. And in the preferences under interface, there's a little tick box down here for show colors, that's just, pardon me, show channels in color. And if you tick on that and click OK, what you'll see is these now show up in color. So if I go into there now, I can see that that's red or green or blue. So you're now able to see these. And equally, if I went on here, and let's just say I added in another shape here. Let's pop one more shape in there. And this one, we're going to customize the color on here. So I'll go in there, and rather than going in with the standard blue, we'll switch down here to blue. And then what we'll do is we'll just come down here a little bit and darken that off. So I've still got the zero, zero on the red and green, but I'm going down here, and I'm just doing 100 on the blue channel instead of 254. And you've then got a darker blue. And similarly, when you look in here, you'll see it shows that up as a darker blue. So you can see exactly what's going on. But equally, if I go to the green channel, there's no green light on it and there's no red light on it. So it's just a nice, easy way of seeing what's going through these different color channels. Now, most of the time you're working, obviously, um, on, on the combined uh, three colors there, the red, green and blue all together, and you see them all. But just occasionally, there can be useful uses for going in here and just switching a couple off and having a look at one. One example of that might be when you're doing a selection based on color channels, for example, or things like that. So hopefully that just helps to make that a little easier.